Not to have seen the cinema of Ray means existing in a world without seeing the sun or the moon. Hello everyone, that quote was from the legendary filmmaker Akira Kurosawa speaking specifically about the filmmaker Satya Jit Ray, which is appropriate considering if you've read the title of this video, you know I'm going to be talking about Satya Jit Ray's The Apu Trilogy. This is a box set from the Criterion Collection. It came out, I believe, in November of 2015. This is the Blu-ray edition of the set. It also comes in a DVD counterpart. And the reason why I am discussing this today is I have finally watched these films for the first time and I thought that it was definitely worth delving into this set as well as delving into Satya Jit Ray as a filmmaker, someone who I'm getting to know for the first time and I am embarrassingly saying that because he is regarded as one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Unfortunately, even though I am a self-proclaimed cinephile, I did not know who he was up until a few years ago and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I wasn't able to see a lot of his films because they're not readily available to watch. But thanks to the good folks at Criterion for putting out not only this box set of his films, but a few of his other films on Blu-ray and DVD as well, we are able to now really delve into his work. And he is someone who had worked all the way from about 1950 until his death in 1992, very soon after he received a much-deserved honorary Oscar at that year's Academy Award ceremony. If you are someone who is not familiar at all with him, this is a great set to have because the extra features in it really delve into him as a filmmaker and him as a person. He was someone who got a lot of influence from Western cinema and he was able to infuse a lot of those elements into his films. In the late 1940s, he was able to travel to Europe, specifically London, and watch a few landmark films from Western cinema, specifically Specifically the film of Bicycle Thieves by Vittorio De Sica, something that was transformative in his career. And it is no coincidence that I'm pretty sure that this film is shown in every film school at some point in time. It is one of those films I recommend to anyone who really wants to delve into foreign cinema or delve into the Italian new realism genre. It's where I got my start. It's where I really fell in love with foreign cinema. And this is a film that is just so different and so unique. I can understand why he really was taken aback by it. And also a film that he was very much influenced by was the Rules of the Game by Jean Renoir. Um, he had actually met Jean Renoir. He worked on one of Renoir's films, I believe The River, that actually shot in India, where Satyajit Ray was from. And he learned a lot by working on that film and talking with Jean Renoir. And he was able to transform Indian cinema at that time, which was kind of steeped in melodrama and more theatrical type things than it was more traditional things that you would see in Western cinema. And he was able to do that very successfully throughout his career. Essentially what this trilogy covers is the life of this character of Apu from his childhood all the way into his early adulthood. And it starts with Pathar Panchali, which is regarded as one of the greatest films of all time by cinephiles and film historians. And I have to say, it is an extraordinary film. It is something that is so unique, so beautiful, so amazing in every way. All of the films in this set are just fantastic. I can't really go into specifics about why they are fantastic because I really don't want to delve into any of the plots of them. I really want people to experience these films for the first time. But what these series of films particularly do well is really use the visual medium in film. It really is what a lot of people refer to as pure cinema. The ability to tell a story by just using gorgeous visuals and cinematography and not really relying on plot or dialogue to really tell what you want to tell. And all of these films do that 
fantastically. Every frame is just so perfect. Every shot is so well done. I can't gush about these films enough. But let me give you a closer look at the discs and the content of this box set. Before I delve into the Apu Trilogy set, I just want to first delve into these two Blu-rays that I just recently showed. Um, hopefully there wasn't too much glare before, I just want to make sure that you guys can properly see them now. This is Jean Renoir's The Rules of the Game, this is Vittorio De Sica's Bicycle Thieves, and without going into them too much, you can definitely see that there are several special features, uh, as well as a nice blurb on the back. And, of course, the usual particular details, Blu-ray edition, running time, audio, and subtitles, etc., etc. As well as the rules of the game with this really cool artwork for the cover. And, of course, usually on the back, typically the same format, a nice blurb about the film, as well as the details. And, of course, all of these special features about what is contained on the disc. And this is the inside of the rules of the game Criterion Blu-ray. Uh, as with most Criterions, and pretty much all Criterions, you get a nice booklet here, as well as the disc. And this booklet is rather thick in size. They're usually rather thick, some are rather thin, but for the bigger sets, as you'll see with the Apu Trilogy, uh, they give you quite a lot of reading material. Here's the inside of the Bicycle Thieves Blu-ray, as well as, of course, a booklet. Um, a booklet could, usually these booklets contain... Uh, essays by various film historians, as well as pictures of, of concept art or behind-the-scenes stuff. It, it, it's definitely a great package that I recommend uh, people to really delve into. But this is the Apu trilogy properly, as you can see the front cover here. That is the character of Apu as he is a child. This is actually uh, a still from the first film itself as well as you can see the titles of each film. And interestingly enough, they have the English titles as well. The first film being Song of the Little Road, the second film The Unvanquished, and the third film The World of Apu. The one thing I have to caution people about when it comes to these sets is that the cardboard is not the most sturdiest. So you see you will get a lot of kind of bumps and things like that. There's a few, there's a few, there's one here, one here, there's another here, another kind of indentation up here. It's unfortunate, but I do want to warn people because um, they tend to wear down due to a lot of handling and things of that nature. Um, but delving into the set itself, here you have the front. Here is the back with a lot to say about the trilogy, of course. And of course, a list of all the special features. What's great about these box sets is they not only list all the features here on the back, but they also list them on each individual disc, as you'll see in a moment. And here is the particulars about each film. Um, each film is in its original Bengali with English subtitles. As I tell many, many people, subtitles are your friend. Don't be afraid of them. They're there to help you watch the film. As you can see on the side here is the typical Criterion a logo with the name, the title of the film, and of course at the bottom is the number that it is in the collection. Yes, there are that many films and actually much, much more in the collection at this point. What is also interesting is that the box sets have a number and also the films each have individual numbers. As you will see right here, the first film being 783, the second film 784, and the third film, 785. Each film is contained in its own individual digipack, which is kind of nice. You don't get any type of discs rubbing up against one another or any type of stack discs or anything like that. So Criterion really uh, stores their discs particularly well when compared to other studios. Some boxes are a little tighter than others, but luckily this one slides out just like this. And the first film I want to look at here is of course the first film in the set and that is Parthar Panchali, which is, like I said, an extraordinary film and really the most well-known of the Apu trilogy. Uh, granted, like I said before, each film is incredible. As you can see, there's a typical blurb about the film, uh, as well as the details, and then down here you get all of the listing of the special features on the disc itself. Each film received a new 4K digital restoration, which there is an actual special feature on the last film, Delving into the complexities of the restorations of these of this film, uh, these films have never looked or sounded better before. But here you have is an audio recording of 1958 of director Satyajit Ray reading his essay 
a long time in the little road, which is basically just his thoughts on the making of this film. And it, the making of this film is extremely complex. It took him years to actually get it done due to financing and stuff like that. All of that information can be found on the various special features on here. So this box set really gives you everything you need to know about these films, as well as Satya Jit Ray. And next up are new interviews with some actors, as well as excerpts from the documentary The Song of the Little Road, featuring the Apu trilogy composer Ravi Shankar. Yes, for those of you who are familiar with the legendary composer, musician Ravi Shankar, he did all of the music for these films, and he was actually a friend of Satya Jit Ray. Uh, next up here is Aparajito, which is the second film in the trilogy, and this one delves into kind of the adolescence of Apu, him kind of transitioning from childhood to adulthood uh, via, of course, his teenage years. Here we have more special features. There's an interview with a writer. There's an audio recording from a conversation between uh, Ray and an historian. For the Making of the Apu Trilogy Epic Debut, a new video essay by Ray biographer Andrew Robinson. I highly recommend watching that because it is very insightful. And the creative, per the creative person, Satyajit Ray, in 1967, half-hour documentary by James Beveridge, featuring interviews with Ray, several of his actors, members of the creative team, and, and a film critic. So that is Aparajito. For those of you who didn't get to see the cover of Panthar Pashali, it is an actual different still of Apu. But what I didn't delve into is the booklet that comes with this set. It is a nice still photo from the first film, as and it contains an essay as well as all kinds of great things. This is concept art from the film when Ray was actually pitching it to get financing at the time. Um, it's really a great thing that they include. Last up we have Apur Sensar, which is the third film in the set, and this deals with adult Apu, as they show here on the cover. Like the others, you get a few interesting special features. This is the one that contains the a restoration and the complexities behind it. There you see at the bottom new programs on the restoration of the Apu trilogy by filmmaker Kagonada. This also features um, the footage when Satya Jit Ray received his Oscar in the 1992 ceremony and he was actually so ill at the time he couldn't make the ceremony so there is a nice um, video from him actually from his hospital bed. It's kind of sad but he is definitely gracious and finally receiving some recognition for his work. Um, there is a new interview with some of the actors as well. I really love this set so, so much, and I hope that um, some of you will actually check out these films for the first time. If you cannot uh, get this set for whatever reason, these films actually are available to watch on Filmstruck, which is a streaming site for cinephiles that's done by the Criterion Collection as well as Turner Classic Movies, and they delve into a lot of these excellent older films. So as I was editing this video, I realized that while I showed you nearly everything inside of this box set, I forgot to show you the most important thing, and that is the actual discs and how they're stored. So I thought I would do this now very, very quickly because I feel that like this video would be incomplete without it. So as you remember, the first Digipack containing the first film in the trilogy, Pather Panchali, of course, here is the booklet, which you've already all seen, but here is where the disc actually lies, and that is simply here in a plastic uh, spindle-type packaging, uh, very secure, there's nothing uh, loose about it in any way. Sorry about the glare, and here on the side is a picture I believe you guys have already seen. Next is Aparajito, the second film. You've already seen this cover, but inside is another photo of the character of Apu as an adolescent, and of course here is the disc as well. Once again, very well secured. And the third film, Aper Sansar. Once again, you've seen the cover, and inside is another picture of, this time, the adult Apu character and the disc itself which of course each disc has their own disc art, which is really nice. Some studios don't do that anymore, and they're all kind of the same. But Criterion, once again, goes a little bit of the extra mile. So that is the entire set. I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to be doing a lot more Blu-ray reviews like this because that is initially one of the things I wanted to do with this channel.
If you like this video, please check out the other videos on my channel.